Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a code to provide access to a team in Microsoft Teams. First of all, what we are going to do is just to access a team in my test tenant. So uh, here I, I am, I'm going to access to the uh, manage team section in my team. Um, uh, I'm going to remove Dave, that is actually a user in the team. Yeah, Dave is removed, so he's not going to have access anymore uh, to this team. And now what I'm going to do is just to generate uh, an access code for this team. So I can provide to, uh, this code to, uh, to Dave or to any other user I want to provide access to the team. So I will click on settings and then I have here the team code setting. As you can see here, I already have a, an access code, but I'm going to, to reset this configuration. So I can click on reset. Sorry, I can click on remove. And then I have the just uh, the ability to generate the code as it was the first time I'm doing that action. So I can click on generate. And uh, once uh, I have clicked on generate, I have the access code for my team. So now what I can do is just to copy this access code and for instance, send an email to all the people in my organization I want to provide access to the team. So I can just click on copy. And what I'm going to do now is just to uh, start a new session in Microsoft Teams using a different uh, using a, a different uh, a, a different uh, user. So let's go to teams.microsoft.com. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm missing an X here. S. Yes. Now it's fine. So now I can provide the details of a uh, other user uh, in this uh, in Teams. So I can uh, type the uh, login name for Dave in the tenant, and then type the password. Here we go. And uh, sorry for the Spanish. Uh, I click on no. And I'm going to be presented uh, uh, Teams using Spanish as user interface. This is not a problem but because I can easily change the language for Microsoft Teams. So I can click basically on the user profile and then I click on uh, settings. This configuration in Spanish. And then I can change the language of Teams. So I can select English United States. Here we go. And then save and restart Teams. So now it's going to restart uh, Microsoft Teams using uh, English as the, as the language. So as you can see here, this is the list of teams uh, where Dave is a, is a member of. It, it can be a member uh, just as a regular member or an owner or some things, I don't know. But uh, Dave wants to um, join or, cre uh, or create a team. So I can click on join I can, and create a team. And as you can see here, Dave uh, have the, has the option to create a new team or simply join a new team by using an access code. So I can click on paste uh, the access code and then click on join team. And as you can see, almost automatically, Dave uh, has been added to the team. Uh, you have also a notification in the, uh, in the uh, in team notification uh, saying that uh, the user has been added by the owner to the team. And now Dave is able to browse the entire team. So he can browse the channels, and uh, yeah, access the files in the channels, access the conversations, and so on. So this is a very straightforward uh, to provide access to a team in Microsoft Teams by means of, a, of a, by means of an access code. I hope you have found this video interesting. And uh, yeah, uh, talk to you soon. Uh, bye bye.